Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors New and Season Friends. My name is Kathy and I am here to do a double completed book flip through. I'm doing this primarily just so I can have it on my channel and I don't know if I'm going to keep these. For now I probably will but they would probably be the first to go if I need to make space. But these are two books. They are sticker by number books that I completed in 2022. So if you are a seasoned friend, you've already seen all of these pages in my completed pages videos every month. But they were both ones I think I started and finished in the year. So I just thought I would do a quick little flip through in case there are anything you are interested in. I know both of these I purchased on Book Outlet. I do have a link to that in my description. If you have never purchased from them and you use my referral link and set up an account, I believe you will get $5 off your order and I will earn some reward points, which once I have enough, I can turn it into um, store credit. So again, you don't have to use anyone's referral link. You can just go out there and buy it. And they have stuff, they have some things that are out there for a long time, I think where they get a lot of them. And there are other things that come and go. So it's one of those places, if I went out there every day, I would probably attempt doing a purchase. So I purposefully do not go out there. But let's just do a quick little flip. So this was Paint by Sticker Kids Halloween. It had 10 pictures in it. On the back, it shows you the pages. And this is very much, um, was a simplistic, but it was still fun. So you can't see them anymore because I tore them all out. The stickers that you use are on the back of the book. And so I started this in September and I finished it on Halloween. And... They are very fun little Halloween type. And again, I cannot tell you if this is the creator, the publisher, whoever did this, or it's probably me. When you see little gaps like that, it means I could not get my stickers lined up. But because this is fun, I don't really care. Now, if you see this color, these or er, orange, <laughs> greenish, are actually glow in the dark. So it has um, glow-in-the-dark stickers. For me, it just, I like that it differentiates. I don't remember. I think they kind of worked, but I couldn't get it to show on camera. This is the spider. Definitely not my favorite. But I love that he's got this little mouth with fangs. Pumpkins. Again, I don't need to tell you what all of these are. I'm just showing you what they look like. It was a fun thing to do, kind of. Um, I didn't do the advent type calendars this year in December for coloring, but this was a fun, this one I had a really tough time. I did not get my stickers to line up. I think this was one of the first ones I did. <laughs> um, but it was fun to do for Halloween. It had 10 pages and they were very quick and easy. And they're fun to take portable, the sticker by numbers, because the stickers are in the book. You don't need to have any markers or pencils or coloring utensils. The most I use is I have a tweezer that I have just in my assorted tool cup. And I did find that useful at times. So this is the other book that I finished. This had 12 images in and it is called Sticker by Number Calming Creatures. And I... Definitely did not pay $18 for this. It was probably about five, if even. And I really enjoyed this one. It comes from St. Martin's Griffin. And uh, again, you've seen this in my channel. It was a sticker by number, but it also had a mindful exercise, which really helped me. Um, I tend to get overwhelmed, stressed, anxious, all of that. And I was able to find, so it shows in your contents, all of your 12. And I was able to pretty much find a image that coordinated with what I was going through during that month. And definitely gives you enough how to's. I don't think these are, no, these are not perforated. Again, stickers were at the back. You can see where I got those all pulled out and gives you very good tips. Then talks about mindfulness. 
emotional brain training. I mean, this was like a therapy book and stickers. So, uh, here you go. So on the left-hand side, there was like a, a title, a theme, kind of an affirmation. And it gave you like a meditative, um, just could be like a short exercise to kind of do, to build whatever the theme was. So I'm not going to go over all of those, but each of these I picked during a specific month that had that issue. So I do really enjoy the fun, colorful patterns that this had. I like the way the backgrounds have are colored, but have a slight pattern instead of just a solid color. These were very difficult for me to get completely lined up. There were many different shapes to fit together. And I don't think even when I like really tried and lined them up that they did line up. But again, it could be user error. Um, of course, we love the cat. Sometimes I go in with a marker in a similar color and try and cover the, the oopses up. Some of these had pre-printed like this. Oh, not that one. Where is it? Some of this was pre-printed. Oh, like right here. <laughs> the eye does not have a sticker on it. There were spots. And same here, this kind of pattern. Just this had it. You can probably see from the, the shine. Sorry. I don't explain the best. But so some of these images had pre-printed parts that did not get a sticker. So... But it was very fun. Like, again, if you enjoy coloring and you're like, seriously, stickers. <laughs> Some of us love stickers. There are several people that do like stationary um, monthly subscriptions and we use stickers in our coloring. So this is just another method. I would definitely recommend if you can find one of these books on the cheapo, definitely give it a try. I thought it was a lot of fun. And like I said, these were great to take if I knew I'd be sitting somewhere and didn't want to bring a bunch of um, markers or anything like that. But there you go, friends. Those are my two sticker by number, paint by sticker books that are completed and now get to go on that completed shelf, which makes me very happy. So thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you are doing well and that you are sticking it to whatever you need to stick it to, whether you're sticking something at life or you're sticking yourself to something to make a change. Um, just be patient with yourself and know you matter. And even when you do things and you don't get things lined up and it doesn't look perfect, as long as you try and you do the best you can with what you have, that's all that matters. That's all that can be asked of you. So... Remind yourself, you are perfectly imperfect, and that's why I care about you. <laughs> Bye, friends.